They're saying to Muslims, either you join jihad or leave the United States because of what Mr. Trump is proposing. Look, there's a problem. I bring it up. Other people have called me and they say, well, you have guts to bring it up because, frankly, it's true, but nobody wants to get involved. Now people are getting involved. People that are on different persuasions than me right now, John, are saying, you know, maybe Trump isn't wrong. We want to examine it. There's a lot of bad stuff going on. I'm watching the news tonight, actually, CBS. And so many of the elements, you look at Germany, you look at Brussels, you look all over the world. They're shutting down cities that never had a problem before. They're shutting down countries that never had a problem before. You look at Paris, what happened. You look at California, what happened. John, maybe it's not politically correct. There's a big problem out there, and it, we have to solve the problem. Does it concern you at all that you're being used in, a, essentially, a recruitment video by a terrorist they, organization? They use other people, too. I mean, what am I going to do? I have to say what I have to say. And you know what I have to say? There's a problem. We have to find out what is the problem, and we have to solve that problem. Do you think the problem is a that the West is on a collision course with radical Islam, or is this just... ISIS is a problem. I mean, is this well, a clash of civilizations? I think that radical Islam may be on a collision course with uh, us. I mean, you could change it around a little bit. But it is a very, very deep-seated hatred that's going on. I mean, you have a hatred like people, wouldn't, where they're willing to give their lives, they're willing to walk in. I have to tell you, it is so big. It is the biggest thing there is right now. When I watch President Obama say global warming is our biggest problem, it's just so sad to watch. And he doesn't want to use the words radical Islam. He doesn't want to use anything having to do with radical and Islam. So until he's willing to admit the problem, how can you not at least talk about the problem? And one of the things I've done is I brought the problem out. The world is talking about what I've said. And now big parts of the world are saying Trump is really right, at least identifying what's going on. And we have to solve it. But you're not going to solve the problem unless you identify it.